Hey guys, welcome back. So, yep, it's another laser engraver. This one here is the Creality Falcon 2, and it's a 22 watt laser engraver. So I have a couple 20 watts already. So we're gonna see how this one does in comparison. I'm not gonna show the other ones, but I know what they can do. So we'll see what this one can do. So let's, uh, let's open up this box and see what is inside. I kind of have a feeling there's a laser graver in here. Now, judging by the size of this box, I'm gonna assume that there is not much assembly involved with this. I could be wrong, but it's about, it looks like it's about the size of a laser engraver. Yeah, I'm correct. A lot of it is assembled. It looks like we might just have to put the laser module on and we might be good to go. So what we have here is the operation guide. Got some stickers, a manual for it. We have a bag with some basswood in there for testing on. We have some extra feet for lifting it up. And, oh, there's a thickness uh, guide here. Oh, not a thickness guide. It's for helping to focus a little gauge and a USB cord. Looks like it's a pretty nice one too. It's a, got a braided cable. And we have the laser module itself. Oh yeah, we got them safety glasses. Those are important to be wearing, protect the eyeballs. Power cord and the AC to DC adapter. Oh, looks like we got some more. Oh, those are the extensions. Okay, these are the actual feet and those are extensions for it. We have the pump for the air assist. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just like the other ones I've, I've uh, used before. So, you know, why change something that works? Oh, we got a little toolkit here. Some wrenches, some screws, the uh, little USB adapter thing in the jig. And it looks like there's a Velcro strap in there. Oh, the keys are in here too. Well, I'll show you later why you need keys. Oh, they gave you a little, uh, little piece of steel here to cut on top of. Is there anything in here? Nope, this is just a block to help keep everything in place. It's very well packed, I gotta say. As it should be. All right. The assembly for this seems to be pretty straightforward. I'm not going to bother looking at the instructions for it. It does say that I have to put the TF card into my computer and all the assembly instructions are on that. But it looks pretty simple. All it looks like is you have to screw in some feet, attach the air supply for the um, air assist and put the laser on. So that looks pretty, pretty straightforward. I think I can figure that out. Lift it over. That should just slide on there like that. Okay, what's next? The pump. For the air assist, this supplied hose just connects into your pump and then you make your connection here. And they have this nice little spinning wheel for adjusting the airflow. So I checked the manual and what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to uh, clip that in and then clip these back into here the power cord that goes to the laser. And, when with, and then with these Velcro straps, we're supposed to connect the, how does Velcro work? That's a nice feature, I really like this. Kind of keeps everything nice and clean, out of the way. Some other laser manufacturers should take note of this. It seems with other laser engravers, the air assist seems to be like an after of thought where Creality really put thought into it where they actually have it run into the laser module itself. Creality was also kind enough to send me a honeycomb bed. Now this is something that you have to purchase separate. It does not come with it. Now this is kind of a must if you're doing any cutting. It just helps you get a much cleaner cut. It helps with any flare back or what do you call that? Like any charring on the back of your pieces. So this is really nice to have. I'm glad they sent that with. All right, so I got this thing powered on and we're gonna do a test cut. For a three millimeter basswood, I need to use the thicker one. So I'm gonna set that there. I'm going to frame my piece here.
All right, I think I'm ready to go for the first test cut. And it's a file that they provided on their TF card. And it is just a simple eagle. So I'm just gonna ramp up the air pressure here. Let's start it. Wow, this is super quick. There we have it. That's pretty cool. Look at the detail in that. In the back as well, very clean, no burning. That is awesome. All right, now let's try an engraving test. As you can tell, I have kids, and I think they're gonna love this. Bluey, now look at that. That's some really nice clean engravings. Very detailed, and it cut it out no problem. So now let's just go over the specs of this laser engraver. The first one is this laser. It's a 22 watt, very powerful, capable of cutting a wide variety of material. And it also has this triple monitoring system on here. So first one here is the air. So when you have your air on, that will be green. And the second one is a fire light. So if there's a fire, that will blink, it'll sound an alarm, and it'll return to home so that you can extinguish the fire. And then the other one, is the light for the lens. And when the lens is turns red from green, that means it's time to clean the lens on the laser. Next is the integrated air assist, which is super nice. When it's required, the air assist will turn on and you can control the air pressure by using this dial. Now they recommend if you're engraving to just use a low air pressure and then for cutting, do it in full blast. Now this is very powerful. Now if you don't like to have your computer in a dusty environment, you'd rather leave it in the house, you can do offline engraving by using this control panel here. All you need to do is put your files on the micro SD card, insert it in the side here, and then yeah, use these controls in order to do your engraving. Also on top here, there's a big red emergency stop button. So if something's going wrong, just hit that and it shuts off. Now, if you're concerned about someone breaking into your shop at night and doing some engraving, they supply some keys here where you can turn it off and take the keys in the house with you and no criminal can break in and do any engraving. Creality was also kind enough to send me their enclosure for this and it's pretty much just a tent. It's got some poles clips together and this really heavy duty fabric that, uh, that slides over top of it. And it opens up with a, just with a zipper. And it also came with an exhaust fan and a hose so you can duct it out your window. So if you're gonna be using one of these indoors, it is highly recommended that you have some kind of enclosure for it like this one. So overall, this is actually a really great laser. I have been enjoying using it, playing around with it. Now, there's really only one thing that I wish Creality and other laser manufacturers would make, and there is a couple out there that have solved this problem. The problem is, is the focusing. I wish it would somehow be some kind of motorized, automated focusing where you don't need to use these little thumb screws to tighten. And if that's not something possible that they can do, it would be at least nice if they had some kind of screw mechanism with a knob that you can turn to, to focus it. Another feature that I really like is the automated air assist. It is super nice to have it turn on and off when needed, not something that you have to worry about turning on, it just does it automatically. So if you'd like to know more about this laser engraver or purchase one for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. And that is it for this video, guys. So like always, we'll see you in the next one.